Well, it's just another beautiful bajillion degree day in paradise. Um, I'm actually down here for one real reason, and that is to replace the EVSE I have down here. So um, this is the equipment I've got. It's a 40 amp level two, and actually it looks like it has seen some better days. Uh, this has been in here for a while, and it looks like it got pretty hot. The whole thing is kind of oblonged, and the pins don't look healthy at all, so I might have to put a new plug in the end of this. I took apart the outlet as well, which has a little bit of melting on it, and uh, it looked like there was a little bit of moisture on one of the lives. So, again, a little sketchy. That's not why I'm getting rid of it. Um, that's actually going to go back into use as a portable charger, um, but I have a physical wall mount. I've got this 32 amp Electron Quick Charge 3.0. Uh, this is, oops, sorry, <laughs> framing. Uh, it's a 32 amp self-contained. Uh, it's got a pretty long cord, J1772 obviously, but I just wanted something hardwired to avoid, you know, potential issues like something like that where it overheated and I didn't even know about it. Uh, a little bit sketchy. The thing is with this is it actually has a plug on it, so it's designed to be plugged into an outlet. That's hit or miss as far as whether or not that's that's a good thing. Um, it does let you change out the charging station if you have an issue a little bit easier, but again, you run into a little bit more resistance, more cost, if you don't just hardwire it. So I'll start with plugging it in, and then eventually I will be hardwiring this. But uh, it comes with a NEMA 650 plug on it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's a welding outlet. It's not the dryer outlet like I have in there. That is a NEMA 1450, so the four pins. So it's got two hots, a ground and a neutral. This is just ground um, and two hots. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So here it is in all of its glory. Um, actually pretty cool. This doesn't have a uh, bonded plug on it, so you can just open it up and uh, rewire it to whatever you want or, or hardwire it. But again, this is a NEMA 650. <laughs> it even has a uh, a wiring guide on it for you with American wire colors. Uh, really nice tube certified cord. This looks like it's 10 gauge, um, plus probably two 18 gauge wires for the uh, signaling for the actual EVSE. The main box itself has a single uh, on off right there. It feels like this does have support for RFID tags. I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, the charging equipment I have down here right now currently makes use of that, and it's always kind of been an annoyance. Um, once we clip this off, you can mount this on the wall first with this included drilling template, and then just slide the charger on and lock it. Kind of a nice, cool touch. Uh, but it's a very attractive and very small unit, actually, I have to say. And bonus, it comes with a... Uh, I forget what you call these things, a cleat, I guess, where you hook up your 1772 adapter to when you're not using it, and then also a cord holding daily thingy. So all terms of art, trust me. But stuff they didn't have to include, and most don't. My much more expensive but much older 30 amp GE charger I use at home, I keep calling it a charger, it's a supply equipment, didn't come with any of that stuff. So this is cool. Um, yeah, I guess let's get it mounted and plugged in and see what happens. So I'm not sure why it says 40 amp down there in the corner, um, but it does have an internal temperature sensor, which is about right. It's about 84 degrees in here. Input voltage, 243 volts. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my Model S and let's, uh, let's see what happens. I heard a click. I think I have the charge timer set, so I'll, uh, I'll enable the charging on the car. Uh, the cord looks like it's about... Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> the cord looks like it's about 20 feet. So let's see what we top out at. Oh, it might just be doing the air conditioning through here right now. <laughs> you can tell it's hot out. 
All right, let me go into the app for the car and enable it and see if we can get this thing up to 40 amps. Okay, so I just enabled charging. And yeah, we are getting... Oh! So, uh, this is not 32 amps at all. It is 40, which is actually pretty cool. However, I'm not entirely sure that this cabling at that, well, at that distance, it might be rated for that. But anyway, worth noting, this actually goes up to 40 amps, which is really cool. <laughs> hmm. Neat. That's 10 kilowatts. That's, this is an insanely good deal for something that actually pushes 10 kilowatts. Overall, I have to say, it's a pretty attractive looking charger equipment. I keep calling it a charger. It isn't a charger. It does have uh, protective plastic on it, so once you're done installing it, uh, definitely don't be one of those people that leaves it on there. <laughs> Pull it off, satisfying as can be anyway. I'm curious to try one of my old RFID tags to see what it does. Nothing, okay. So you must need RFID tags from the company, but uh, yeah, that's a really nice looking piece of equipment. I will say the, the cord's a little on the short side, but it's fine. I would say it's 20 feet, maybe 22 or 23. But the fact that you're getting a 40 amp charger, I don't think that's just a fluke for mine. Um, but it definitely says 32 amps on it somewhere. Oh, never mind, guys. It does say 40 amp on it. I guess I was just mistaken. I think I was supposed to be shipped a 32 amp model, but... Uh, Anyway, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> That's a steal. I mean, you get that kind of charging power. Uh, you get the little cleat to hold your charging thing when you're done, so you don't end up looking like that. And you get a cord hanger, so you don't end up looking like that. I'm pretty stoked. I mean, I was already pretty happy with the value for uh, 32 amps, but this is above and beyond, so I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, my brother actually just bought a Kia Nero EV, which uses 1772, and it sounds like other people in my family will be uh, joining the EV game as well, at least for their daily drivers, so I've just been trying to add this kind of support equipment everywhere, and it's really nice that they're getting cheaper and better uh, very rapidly. <laughs> yeah, that uh, it's pretty cool. I'll leave a link to this thing in the description so you guys can check it out if you have an EV and you're interested, but... Uh, that is the latest addition to the garage down here. Okay, one last bit before I go. That's where I got 32 amp from. It says 32A and 32 amps. So that must just be a stock photo. They might have two different versions of this thing, but yeah, this one is 40 amps. I guess it says right there. I probably should have been a little bit more observant. Cool.